hi guys today i'm going to show you how we can configure or how we can apply installation condition for an install seed installer i mean to say let's say you want to raise any error whenever user clicks on your installer and tries to install your, install the application on his machine so you want to prompt a error like something is not not gonna available on your system that's the reason you cannot install this application something like that right so for that reason how we can set up the that error for the user before actually starting the installation so actually there are two ways to do say same thing either place can be used first of all is that we have a this option which is uh, install condition right this one and this way you can set up the conditions by adding class or whatever right i am not doing this going through this way so i am just removing it now install sheet condition means conditions if which got satisfied only then installation will proceed otherwise it will get halted with the error message you can use this condition to invoke after scanning the target system or for some validation or some pre installed requirement to get fulfilled before installation just like uh, I, i used it uh, for dot in framework installation so i will uh, just show you a scenario for which i will be showing the error so i will be writing the scenario first let's say i want to say that uh, install my application only when target system has dot net framework 4.6.1 or less if target system has version of dot net frame work greater than 4.6.1 then don't install i prepared this condition because in my machine i already have that kind of condition like uh, my machine has above 4.7.1 dotnet framework version now let me show you how it is so i will just go to registry reg edit there is an option to see the installed framework version through registry so let me just show you one more link by which i could know to how to know the framework installed on my machine so how to determine yeah this one so here comes with the registry path this is the registry path it says that you will find your version here uh local machine software microsoft let me search it local machine this local machine software Microsoft, Microsoft. Then uh, go to dotnet framework setup, net framework setup, NDP. In NDP, go to the V4 and full, right? So I went there. So now it says that watch the value of release. So the release value is this. This is the Four six one eight one four, right? Four six one eight uh, one four. So the release value 
if the release value is 4618 uh, 461 814 814 means that would be above then 4.722 right this one so my value is this one and uh, I already said that my on my machine I have dotted frame mark 4.722 and I am trying to apply the check for the 4.6.1 so for that uh, so version I will be having the value which is uh, this max to max this right so I am saying my registry value should not be greater than this only then the software will get installed right so I have already written the value of release here which on which I have to apply the condition now come to this install sheet now remember these steps i am following all these things right step one go to a property manager make a public property public means the name of the property should contain must contain every letter as a capital right property framework version right And the value of this uh, property should be blank, totally blank, right? Now, I will be just going to this system search. You know, this property I will be using there. So, so you know that I have to search the target system and identify that whether that target system has that kind of framework or not. So for that cause, I will be going to the system search. Here, I will be adding a system search. System search is specific to the registry. So I will be just uh, going to the registry and the type of search. Now next, I will be searching in local, as I showed you, local, and I will be copying the value of path from here. So which is this? Yeah, this one, right? So I will be going to till full. And I will be seeing release. I need to read the value of release uh, right now just go to next I will be saying store the value of uh, scan search in the property framework version finish so I said that go to this path search for the release and the value of release should go in this property right I have in the second step, I have holding the value of uh, framework, uh, framework version. I have hold the value of release in the framework version. In my case, the value for uh, the value for uh, this value, uh, this uh, property framework version would be uh, four six one eight one four, right? Now I need to apply a condition and need to write the error message to the prompt, right? So I will be going to the direct editor. So basically direct editor I will come to in this later demo in different demo so basically direct editor is the key of this install sheet which is a very very advanced feature I will be just navigating to the launch condition so this is my launch condition I will be adding new condition here I will be writing that condition so you know that I have used that uh, property I need to write the property name here so I will be just copying the property name from the property manager uh, the property manager uh, okay. the value of property name is this and uh, coming back to this direct editor for the launch condition new now how to write the condition here the condition would be like firstly you will write the name if the condition is comparative that means you are you are going to use the comparative operator of your arithmetic then you will be or of maths then you will be writing this way so I am writing this like uh, if my uh, I am saying that when the target system has sort of framework version 4.6.1 or less so less means I will be writing this way less or equal to now I will be writing the value in double quotes as this value is numerical I will be writing in the 
hash first. Writing hash will convert it to int. This is the format. Now, what value I am looking for? 4.6.1. The value for this 4.6.1 release is uh, this max to max this, right? So the max value should be this. So I am writing this inside this, right? This way. Now, I will be writing the message which will be prompt only when the above condition is false, right? So when this condition is false, I will be prompting the message like uh, your machine has machine has dot net framework version greater than 4.6.1 which is not appropriate to this application so it's stopping installation right this is the condition and now I am saving it I am just done with this setup. Now I am just compiling the release. I will show you one more thing. I, you know, I have added the condition in this uh, direct table. I will see the impact of this condition here in general tab. You can see that install condition field got one condition field. And if I see which condition, then we can see that the condition is this which I have already done. So I mean to say either you can do the same thing from this place or from the direct item. Both will be same, right? Now I will be just coming to this installation and we'll double click on this installation and see how it works. So it is extracting all the things first of all. After that it is prompting the your machine has .NET framework version greater than .4.6.1 which is not appropriate to this application so stopping installation right now I am giving a one more tweak it got, install, it got stopped now I am just coming to this I am this time I am trying to edit this condition from this place so what I am doing is that I am saying that if the total framework version is greater than or equal to this, only then install, otherwise raise an error, right? And I am saying that your version is less than, right? Let me come to this direct table first. I will show you the impact because both things are same. Added. See, framework is greater than or equal to this one. Your machine has not a framework version less than this one, which is not appropriate, right? So let me build. And this time I am expecting that I will not be getting any error and it will install perfectly. Reason being, I already have not a framework version 4.7.2, whatever, which is greater than 4.7.1. That's why my condition will get met. And I will not be getting any error. So I'm just trying to build it. What is happening with this? It's getting not responding. Oh, okay. It is starting to install. To build it first, first. So come to this place. Try to install. So now observe, after the extraction dialog, you will not be seeing any error dialog. Right? Now I can install it. I can install this software on my machine because I am meeting all those conditions and I am not getting any error. And as of now, if I just check the control panel, I will be getting my application and install. So control panel okay it's opening and 
install desktop option right i will uninstall it from this place so this is the way to apply any condition for installation so basically i want basically i want to say that launch condition is a place where you can set up to display any error message to avoid installation on installation based on some condition right thank you so much for watching my video